Hey guys, it's Misty Eyes, and I'm here with an Ask Misty. All right, so it's November, National Trans Awareness Month, and I'm going to try to do as many trans questions as I can find for this month um, to get the trans issue out of my Ask Misty's, but uh, also talk about it. It's Trans Awareness Month. Let's talk about trannies. All right, so Dear Misty, I just started transitioning, when can I go full-time? What do I need to do first? All right, honey. We live in a microwave society and everybody wants to do everything right now. They want it complete. But trust and believe if you rush into anything, you will be deformed. <laughs> so slow your roll. Um, I would say first, 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 start laser hair removal right now. Um, and start hormone replacement therapy. You're gonna to wanna to do these things a couple years before you even consider going full time, in my opinion. I definitely, there's there's no right or wrong. I, I'm not, in my opinion is my opinion. I know girls that have lived full time since before they took their first hormone shot or first hormone pill. And that is not right or wrong, it's just the way they live their life. I, however, was a closet trans person for almost four years before everyone was like basically misty shut the fuck up you're a tranny deal with it and <laughs> stop lying um but in my case and i think the way i did it was much easier on my emotional stability the longer you wait to be full time the more physical alterations that you do to your body, whether it be laser removal, body modification, hips, ass, chest, lips, cheeks, hair transplants, facial feminization, breast implant. Um, in my mind, initially, I, for myself, I was going to hide my hormone replacement therapy from everyone I knew. I was going to do my lips, cheeks, forehead, hips, ass, Facial feminization, then tits. And when I did my tits, I was just gonna be like, hey everyone, I'm a tranny. But I haven't had my facial feminization yet and I came out as a tranny after I got my breast implant like I had planned, publicly. Um, Cause that to me is like, you can't go back. Like you can't go to the beach as a boy anymore. You can't go to the pool or water park as a boy anymore. You're now a woman. Um, so to me, these, were the, um, like, hey everyone, I'm full time. But basically, I wasn't full time until I got them, to be on the real. It's, it's, it's you. It's, I think it's safer to do everything on the DL. And, it's like watching the grass grow. Before you know it, you're going to be so pussy and so fish that people are like, girl, you're going to start getting ma'am and miss from strangers, even when you're not wearing makeup and even when you're not wearing high heels or wigs or nails or anything feminine. You'll be standing there in full boy clothes and people will call you ma'am. That's when I would consider going full time because that's what I did to myself. And that would be the advice I give because I would take my own advice, right? Yeah, that's how I did my gig. But there's no right or wrong. I'm not gonna tell you when to go full time and I'm not gonna tell you what to do first, but I personally think hormone replacement therapy and laser hair removal are the two first things I would do no matter what. Um, also get a mental health therapist. Um, you're gonna need it for your paperwork. Anyways, loving is easy.